Hello friends. In this video, we will see the most important basic interview question for mechanical engineers. So these questions may, may be asked in on campus or off campus interviews. So let us see. First question is a, what is a fillet and chamfer? So the answer is fillet will describe a rounded corner of a part while chamfer are nothing but the slope or angled edges. These are called the chamfer. So the purpose of fillet and chamfer is to remove the sharp edges. Next question, what is a stress and strain? So basically stress is nothing but internal resisting force developed in a body due to externally applied load per unit cross-sectional area. That is a stress. And what is a strain? Change in dimensions or deformation due to some external force is nothing but the strain. How will you define a machine? So here, machine is nothing but it is an assembly of interconnected components arranged to transmit or modify force in order to perform useful work. Fourth, give me the examples of six machine tools. So six machine tools are listed over here. Lathe machine, drilling machine, milling machine, grinding machine, shaper and planer machines, presses. Fifth, what is the list count and a list count for vernier caliper and micrometer? So list count is nothing but it is the smallest possible distance that can be measured by an instrument. So for vernier caliper, if it is digital, the list count is 0.01 mm and for manual, it is 0.02 mm and for micrometer, the list count is 0.01 mm. Sixth question, how to calculate the weight of the steel? So the weight formula is nothing but volume into density. Okay, Volume is nothing but area into length and what is density? Density of the steel we know it is 7850 kg per meter cube. That is the density of steel. Seventh question, what is the difference between a circle and a sphere? Now see, the circle is nothing but it is a two-dimensional figure while sphere is nothing but it is a three-dimensional object. Circle has an area but it does not ha have a volume. But sphere have both. You see it have area as well as volume. So here area of circle is nothing but pi r square and the area of sphere is nothing but 4 pi r square. Next question. What is a tolerance and its types? So here tolerance may be defined as it is a permissible variation of an object from its basic size or actual size. That is the tolerance. So tolerance are of two types. First is the dimensional tolerance. So dimensional tolerance means it is used to achieve expected dimensional variation. So here you can see to achieve the dimensional variation we are using the dimensional tolerances over here. Now what is the second type? Geometrical tolerance. So it is used to achieve expected geometrical variation. So here you will see the geometrical variation. So here variation in position of the circle is defined. So that is a geometrical tolerance. Next question. How much meter is in 1000 mm? So 1 meter is in 1000 mm. What is the difference between jig and fixture? So here you can see this is a jig and this one is a fixture. So jig is used to guide cutting tool as well as hold the work pieces. While fixture is used to only hold and locate the work piece. So it does not guide the cutting tool. Next question. What is the stress concentration and how to reduce it? Now stress concentration is nothing but it is a point in a part where 
the stress is significantly greater than its surrounding area. So how to reduce this stress concentration? Avoid the sharp corners and use the relief notches in order to reduce the stress concentration. Next question, what are the three types of plain carbon steel? Now three types are low carbon or mild steel whose carbon percentage will be 0.3%, medium carbon steel carbon percentage 0.3 to 0.6%, high carbon steel carbon percentage from 0.6 to 1.5%. Third question, what is a Hooke's law in a material? Hooke's law is stated as when a material is loaded within the elastic limit, the stress is directly proportional to strain produced by stress. So here stress upon strain is nothing but constant. That is the Hooke's law. What is a mold? So here mold is nothing but it is a cavity of a shape of component to be manufactured and into which molten metal is poured. So here you can see this is nothing but the mold and this is the core. So this core is used to create the hollow part in the mold. Next question 15. What is the purpose of electroplating? So first of all, what is the electroplating? Electroplating is the process of coating surfaces with a metal coating using electricity. So the purpose is to avoid corrosion and wear, to increase the surface hardness, to promote the electrical conductivity. So this is the purpose of electroplating. So this is all about the basic questions for mechanical engineer. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.